Perhaps one of the biggest concerns I hear from people when they are aligning their cartridge on the head shell is, well, difficulty they might have in getting an unobstructed and sufficiently enlarged magnified view of the cantilever so that they can easily enough align the cantilever at the alignment mark on the Wally Zenith or the Wally Tractor. Some of the challenges of using a, a typical loop like this is that they, for reasons I won't go into, they have limited resolution, they have more distortion around the periphery of the lens, and the viewing angle that you need to use in order to see the subject is rather high, which keeps you from being able to align cartridges that have cantilevers that are hidden by the cartridge body, like for example, the DS audio cartridges or the Koetsus. Very difficult to see those cantilevers. Over the years, in an effort to get a better and better view of that cantilever, we've tried everything including USB scopes in this neat little jig that was created for us by a client out of the UK. But none of them, none of the solutions that we came up with were able to get to a low enough viewing angle with enough magnification. So we created a solution, the Wally Loop. I'm proud of this little thing, and it comes with two different lenses. I'll go into that reason in a moment. But a couple things about this magnifying lens is, well, it's a lot more powerful than a typical loop that's used for aligning a cartridge. And it's got also, it's featured so that when you put the Wally loop down onto your protractor, the lens essentially sits on top of the protractor, which allows you to get a very low viewing angle, which allows you to see further underneath the cartridge. The large diameter of the lens allows more light collection and more resolution. You'll also notice, especially on the first of the two lenses, the distortion along the periphery of the edge is very limited. You get very little distortion. The lens is angled relative to the surface that the Wally Loop sits upon, again, to accommodate the low viewing angle. The reason for the two lenses, for two different types of cartridges. For cartridges where the cantilever is being pretty well hidden by the body of the cartridge, and you need a really low viewing angle in order to see that cantilever, you're going to use the 80 millimeter focal distance lens. For cartridges with cantilevers that are well exposed, you will use the 55 millimeter lens. This is a higher magnification lens, but it has a shorter focal distance. And I'll show you what that means when we get to the instructional part of this video. So this lens is only intended to be used for cartridges that have that cantilever well exposed. Because of that increased magnification power that it has, it does have more distortion at the periphery of the lens, so we want to keep the subject in the center of the lens for this one. So right now I've got the 55 millimeter focal distance lens on, and the idea is to get as far away as possible from the subject of interest and still be in focus. Again, the 55 millimeter focal distance lens is the higher power lens. The idea is you pull the magnifying glass as far away from the cantilever and still have the cantilever and the alignment marks in focus. As far away as you can get and it's still in focus, that's your maximum magnification. Now make sure that the subject is in the center of the lens because again, this higher power lens has more distortion around the periphery. Now the purpose of this little ear here is a finger hold. When you're changing your focal distance, I want you to use that finger hold to pick up the Wally Loop and move it. I prefer you don't slide it. Pick it up. The reason I don't want you to slide it is because that stylus is sitting on your Wally Zenith or your Wally Tractor and we don't want to accidentally cause the Wally Tractor or the Wally Zenith to spin catching the stylus. So pick it up by the ear and move it to change the focal distance. So to change the lens, we simply remove this thumb screw completely, pull the lens right out. You see there's a pin right there, pivoting pin. Pull and take the new lens. Now this is the 80 millimeter focal distance, which is of course the lower uh, magnification lens. 
but it's got a lower viewing angle as well for those hidden cantilevers. So a cartridge like this one, with its rather hidden cantilever, requires a very low viewing angle in order to get a good image of it. So now we've switched to the 80 millimeter focal distance lens. Now look at how far away I am from the subject with this particular lens. But I can see it clearly and the image is beautiful resolution. We wanted to include for you in this video some photographs or video of what it looks like for us when we look through the Wally Loop lens at the cantilever. We found this quite difficult, however, and this is because of the nature of optics. The optics in the camera that we're using made it very difficult for us to see with the same level of clarity and magnification that we can see with our eyes. There's mathematics behind it, but uh, we don't have the time to go through that right now. The purpose of having the weighted base on the Wally Loop is so that we can use it on some of the more extreme correction angles on the Wally Zenith, like negative seven, negative eight degrees, where the lens will have to be hanging out over the edge of the platter surface so that you can get the proper viewing angle. So there it is, the Wally Loop. I gotta say, I'm really excited about this one because people who have experienced this are pretty amazed about what they're now able to see <laughs> uh, under that cartridge's body. Like always, if you have any questions, just reach out to us and enjoy Analog Forever.